and nerve examination. In this video, we'll be looking at the motor and sensory examination of the nerves supplying the hand. Each nerve will be examined separately, looking at the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, and then finally, the radial nerve. At the end, we've included a little quiz so that you can test your knowledge. Now let's get started. Begin by exposing both arms up to the elbows. Inspect the palm and dorsal surface of each hand, looking for any scars, any swelling that's visible, any wasting, particularly of the thin and hypothenar eminences, and also any fixed flexion or extension deformities. As always, compare both sides with each other and let your history guide your examination. Now let's look at the nerves. The median nerve will be examined by the examiner asking the patient to make an OK sign, testing the anterior interosseous branch of the nerve against resistance. Secondly, finger opposition is done, testing the recurrent motor branch of the nerve against resistance. Finally, median nerve sensation is tested by feeling over the tip of the index finger with the palm facing upwards. Median nerve neuropathy is demonstrated here. The patient attempts to make a fist and is unable to flex the second and third metacarpophalangeal joint due to loss of median nerve innervation. This is called St. Benedict's sign. The ulnar nerve. Finger abduction is done against resistance to test the dorsal interosseous branch. Finger adduction against resistance, testing the palmar interosseous branch. And then finally, Froman's test. In Froman's test, the patient is asked to hold a piece of paper between the thumb and the index finger with the hand held vertical. If the adductor pollicis is weak, the patient will flex the thumb in order to hold the finger. This is known as Froman's test positive. Ulnar nerve sensation is tested by feeling over the tip of the little finger with the palm facing upwards. Shown here is the ulnar claw due to a low lesion of the ulnar nerve. The radial nerve. Wrist dorsiflexion is done first and this is tested against resistance. Secondly, thumb extension, and then test the power of this. Then finally, finger extension. Test this too against resistance. Radial nerve sensation is tested by feeling over the first wave space. Demonstrated here is a wrist drop. This is due to weakness of the extensor muscles of the forearm in radial nerve neuropathy. Now let's recap. Radial nerve wrist dorsiflexion, thumb extension, finger extension. Sensation in the first wave space. Ulnar nerve, finger abduction, finger adduction with the piece of paper. And then Froman's test, making sure that the thumb stays straight. Sensation over the tip of the last digit with the palm facing upwards. And then the median nerve, thumb adduction or the OK sign, finger opposition, then sensation over the tip of the index finger. Now let's test your knowledge with a few questions. Is it true or false that Froman's sign is used to test the function of the radial nerve? This is false. It's the ulnar nerve that is tested with Froman's sign. Is it true or false that since Benedict's sign occurs in median nerve neuropathy? This is true. And then finally, is it true or false that the median nerve sensation can be felt by feeling over the first dorsal web space? This is false. Here you're feeling radial nerve sensation. I hope now you have all the tools to do your examination right every time. Thank you for watching.